Hi BC, welcome to my latest video. Uh, this video is going to be in response to some requests for a room tour. And so we're up here in the listening room and I'm going to share with you, you know, what there is up here. It's not a lot going on, but various little aspects of what goes up here in the, in the listening room, man cave, what have you. And we'll get started right away. Okay, so now what, we're in the stairwell. And uh, I saw this on, a, on another person's uh, video. They had different, they were going upstairs and they had different types of uh, music type posters on the wall. Well, as you go up to the music room, you can kind of get an idea what you're in for because we've got all these different types of uh, musical rock, you know, this musical rock and roll type posters, the Beatles, you know, the Doors, you got some U2, David Bowie, and of course the Rolling Stones over top there. And as we go up the stairwell, okay, and as we come up to the top, we've got a few more music posters. And as we come across, we come up into the room. I've got a photograph here. And this is the one that I use uh, on my eBay photograph. And this is in Alberta. It's not a real tall mountain, but it's pretty high up there. That was a great day. And as we come across, here's a little desk where I do a lot of my eBay work. And uh, I've got this little scale here that I bought from stamps.com. And I use this when I sell my records because, you know, you've got to weigh the packages. So I put my, my package on there. And you've got to get it exact because the post office, if you're out, they're going to send it back, postage due and stuff. So you don't want that happening. And as we come across the left wall, we've got the record collection here. And then we'll get into the... I've got a little picture here of this old motorcycle that I restored. This is about 1984 right here. I think I bought it in... You know, I've been buying motorcycles since I was about 17. And here... That was the last one I ever had. And as we pan around to the front... Got some, of course, we've got some acoustical treatments. We've got, you know, the stereo in the front and the forefront coming across. Now on the bottom, you'll see some records down there. Those are usually what you call heavy rotation. That's the ones that I've been playing lately. And then as we go to the top, we've got these pictures that line the wall. And these are what you call promo pictures. These are usually included in... Okay, as I was saying, these, these pictures on top are promo pictures. They're usually included inside of a record when the re artists are new by the record companies. And uh, so I've gone and I've collected some, some of my favorite bands through the day. And uh, can't get too close where we get a reflection, which is pretty bad. But I uh, so wanted to zoom in on this, uh, this old ZZ Top. Look at those guys. Yeah, that was a while back, wasn't it? And then if we come across up up here on the wall is some of my favorite records as you've been able to see is Alex Harvey framed, Vandergraph Generator, Audience House on the Hill. Somebody was asking me about that the other day. And of course, Jethro Tull, Lily Uriah Heap. And then we've got Captain Beyond. Then over here on the wall, I've got my little record, one of the little swirl labels. I can sit over there and I can spin it on the wall, amuse myself time to time. Okay, so as I back up a little bit here, you can see the seating position. There's seating, seating for three adults. And of course, now the one that's in the middle right here. This is the sweet spot. This is where you want to sit. It's got the best holographic image is going to be right in here. And as we come, we pan over to the right. Here's uh, we've got to have a refreshment. We've got to have some refreshment. So we've got the fridge. And of course, no man cave is going to be complete without the flat screen. You've got an important football game. Something's going on. You want to come up and get some peace and quiet. Well, this is, this is where I come. Okay, so in the middle of the room, 
we see the big table. And this comes in real handy for when you open a record, you put it on top. But it's also handy for storing stuff underneath. And so this is where I keep all my, my packaging supplies when I'm going to uh, pack up the records. You know, I've got my masking tape, masking tape, pencils, some paper, all the stuff I'm going to need. You know, back and knife and all that. All that little things that you need to gather up, I've got them in one spot all the time. Whenever I need it, they're right there. And then as you see on this side, this is where I keep my record record key cleaning supplies. The spin clean, the water, that type of thing over here. And then the front, because whenever I get some new records, I'm going to have to I keep all my new inner sleeves on this side. And then I've got all my new outer sleeves on this, on this side. So it's real handy when I, when I come and I get a record, look at it, examine it. I've got all my stuff right here to take care of it. Okay, so I've had some uh, questions asked about what kind of turntable am I using, that type of thing. So I thought as long as I'm doing the room tour, it'd be a good time to go through all the different pieces up front and describe what they are. Okay, these are Martin Logan. These are made in Kansas. These are electrostatic speaker. And this has got a regular woofer on the bottom there. Next up is the Origin Live Calypso turntable and it has a DC belt drive motor on it with a uh, Origin Live silver tone arm and a, uh, a Shelter 501 Mark II moving coil cartridge. Next to that we have the Dodd Audio. This is a battery powered tube preamplifier and boy oh boy what a difference this makes compared to the old solid state one I had before. And uh, the tubes that I use in this right now are Muller CV2493s. These were from uh, 1971 and they're a military grade tube. And then another set I have for these is a, uh, a Siemens 7308. These are made in 1976. And these are both matched. And these little jokers here, now this is $300 just for these two tubes. So, uh, but the nice thing about it, and of course I've got another set inside there. So by changing out those two tubes, it changes the sound quite a bit sometimes. So you can really tailor it to, to the way that you like to hear the music, depending on the tube that you use on and, and the preamp. The next thing I have up here, this is what you call an Elasis Master Link. This is a CD recorder, but it's one of those, uh, most of the recording studios are now using these Elasis Master Links. I bought it off of eBay. I got it used. I got a deal on it. And you can record it... Uh, you know, uh, 92 kilohertz, 24, uh, 24 bit word, or you just regular red book, you can use it, you know, 16, 16 bit. But, you know, I'm an analog guy, I've always have been, so I've had this for over a year, and I have yet to even make, ever make a CD, because, you know, I would try to digitize some of the vinyl, get it on a CD or whatever, put it for the car, that type of thing, but uh, just haven't really bothered to do it. Okay, down below here in the heart of the beast, this is where I have my power amplifier now. This is a musical fidelity AC3R. This is about 150 watts per channel because those uh, electrostatic speakers, they need a lot of power. You can't use any kind of low powered amplifier with those. They need a lot, a lot of power to work properly. And then I have the Jasmine. This is a, uh, a phono amplifier. This is your power supply for the phono and then this is the phono section itself and the patch cords that I have aren't really that long so of course I had I built this little thing up here so the patch cord the power you know the interconnect will reach properly and uh, that will conclude this part of the uh, the stereo part okay so it's now it's time to recline back listen to some music I wandered on Thanks for watching.